originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I guess the funny story behind finding BUMC is as soon as I decided to go to Bandy, I had people from my home church, Northside Church in Atlanta, tell me that I really needed to check it out. Uh, it had been on my radar for a long time, but in, until the online streaming services, I never, never really had the opportunity to go. Um, I had missed my confirmation in middle school, so something I've been thinking about over the last two or three years was, well, I really want to pursue confirmation. Um, so I started online. I was online, um, I think around from Easter time all the way to August. And I was confirmed on August 16th, I believe. I sent a thank you note to, I just the email I could find on the website. Um, and I really shouldn't have been surprised that I got a response from Shelby Chloe and then from um, Pastor Davis, but I did. Um, and it just warmed my heart. And so um, I had known that there was an opportunity to go in person and having had those um, just those sweet emails back, um, back and forth. I was felt really encouraged, um, uh, to make the drive on a Sunday morning and just see what it was like. Um, and it's just so familiar and so homey that I kept coming back. <laughs> I think just having an online connection, being able to, to choose and to, and to watch and to tune in, um, to make that choice for myself and my faith was really powerful and really encouraged me. Our daughter, Lindsay, her husband, Jeff, introduced us to Brentwood United Methodist Church, and it's been a joy to worship with them uh, when we're in town. It was a natural extension uh, to invite folks to join us to worship. And so when BUMC services came online, you know, I texted, you know, the, the family, and we've got a big, you know, chain email stream that we use, and said, hey, we're having services, um, join us. In fact, I'll save you a pew. The opportunity to come together and worship when things were so out of control was a tremendously comforting experience. And it strengthened all of us. When we were doing this in our own homes separately, all in different time zones even. It really did feel as though I could feel their presence. And it was such a blessing. We've had a lot of people in our pew throughout this pandemic from Wisconsin, Illinois, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland. And they've all shared the same thing, that being alone really is not what we're experiencing when we are together in worship. And it's been a huge source of comfort for each of us and strength, knowing that we can support one another in sharing that faith. And I'll add, I'll add one thing. Um, we've lived in different parts of the country, California, New York, you know, the Midwest. Um, <clears throat> where the church is, the people are really friendly. Um, the church is really personal. Um, the messages, everything is, is, is much more warm and direct and inviting than um, a lot of other, other places uh, in the country. And we were really blessed uh, to have found the church and to be part of it, um, you know, uh, bef before all this started, because it's, it's, been, it's, it's been amazing.